You may not have been an A-plus flirter the first time you tried it out, but over time, many people develop the skills necessary to do it well. And if you can effectively flirt, there's an awful lot that happens in your body. From hormonal changes, neurotransmitter activity, metabolism changes, and more, here's some of what's going on below the surface while you're practicing your best hair flip smile combo. Wow, it looks like, you know, you've started flirting already. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just listening to you. <laughs> body language. When you're flirting with someone, you might not give a lot of thought to your specific body language, but your movements change when you're flirting. Anthropologist David Givens told Fusion that when people are flirting with one another, they start to mirror each other's actions. Because safe is same and same is safe. If you reach for your drink or a snack on the table, you might notice the other person doing the same. You might also talk more with your palms up, which makes the other person feel at ease. Feeling like you are similar and on the same page can help you feel a bit more relaxed in a situation that can make many people feel nervous. Metabolism You've probably noticed that your heart rate picks up when you're flirting with someone, especially if you're really attracted to them. You likely don't realize, however, that when your heart rate picks up while you're flirting, your metabolism actually slows down. Biologist Don Masler explained, That's kind of what gives you those feelings of butterflies in your stomach. Your body is taking the blood from, moving it from digestion, which is more of a relaxation thing, and it's moving it towards the muscles getting ready for fight. Your brain Sometimes people can be a little bit hesitant to go all in on a relationship because they're scared that they'll get rejected outright or end up getting hurt down the line. Professor David Henningsen told Fusion that when you flirt, your brain helps remind you that you should be wary and non-committal instead of jumping right in and putting yourself out there. He said, The genius of flirting is that it's a shield. It makes sense that flirting helps you test the waters, protecting yourself from painful rejection. Flushed According to Maslar, just like with your metabolism slowing, you blush and get flushed while flirting because your body is moving your blood supply around to try to respond to what's going on externally. She explained that if the face is gradually getting more red, that's a good sign the person is interested physically as well. Those nerves they, or you, are feeling are causing a spike in adrenaline and an increase in blood flow. Palms while your palms might not get sweaty each time you flirt, when they do, it's because your body is again moving the blood around, trying to determine what the best and safest response is, fight or flight. Attraction and fear are closely connected, according to Maslar, who said, Back in the day, they used to have the Tunnel of Love ride, which was like a dark ride, and it's kind of scary, and you go in one end and you come out the other end and you're in love. That's because the fear really kicks in the attraction. Dilated pupils Though you probably won't notice much happening with your own pupils, you may be able to tell something is going on with the person you're flirting with. It's more subtle than some of the other signs, but since you're probably already looking at them in their eyes, you might pick up on some dilated pupils, which means their interest is piqued. You laugh do you find yourself laughing when you're flirting with someone? There's some science behind that. Oxytocin, a powerful hormone that acts as a neurotransmitter in the brain, is released when you realize that you're actually establishing a connection with the person with whom you're flirting. Maslar explained, That's one of the reasons why they say women like men that can make them laugh, because you can only laugh if you're trusting someone. Maslar also noted that not all laughter is about connection, saying, Besides that, you have nervous laughter. But when you feel comfortable enough to really have a laugh, that's where the oxytocin comes in. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.